Hi, this is Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy, and today we're going to talk about setting up the Panasonic PTZ camera system. Our camera is going to consist of an HE130 camera head and a remote controller, the RP120. The first setup we're going to run you through is serial control. On the back of the HE130, there's a dedicated RS422 port. You have to be sure to never plug in Ethernet with power or PoE into this port as it will cause damage. Then connect the other end to one of the five serial ports on the back of the controller. You can use up to 1,000 meters of cable to connect with the serial protocol. However, you must power each camera individually. Using menu 36 on the controller, you can change the control type for a camera. Using knob F2, select the type of control and press knob F2 to confirm. If the cameras are connected prior to starting the controller, the controller will generally auto-detect the cameras during its boot-up process. A green light above a camera number indicates that that camera is detected by the system. You can then select that camera and operate it. The next type of control is Ethernet. We're going to assume for this that Ethernet is providing power to the camera via PoE. On the back of the HE130, plug into the Ethernet port. Then connect the other end to a port on your PoE network switch. Be aware that there is a 100 meter or 330 foot limit to Ethernet cables. Then connect your controller via LAN to the same network switch. Once all your cameras are connected, you can go to menu 37 on the controller to auto IP address the cameras to camera assignments. Using knob F2, scroll to renew IP address, then press knob F2 to confirm. The controller will now assign cameras based on their IP addresses. The default IP address for any camera is 192.168.0.10. So cameras ending in .11.12.13 would be assigned as cameras 2, 3, and 4 respectively. The auto set function should have automatically changed the control type for any of these cameras to network. But if it didn't, you can use menu 36 to change it to network control. We will cover how to change the IP address of cameras later in this video. Now we're going to show you how to control the HE130 using the built-in web application. Using a web browser, Type in the camera's IP address, in this case 192.168.0.10. It'll bring up the GUI interface where you'll be able to change the web streaming video size as well as turn the camera on or off. In the bottom center you'll see a control section where you can move the camera around using left, right, top, bottom controls, or you can use the glide pad to combine up, down, and left, right movements. Also in this control section, you'll find buttons to zoom in and zoom out, as well as focus controls when you're not in auto. To access the setup section of the GUI, you're going to need a username and password. The username is admin and the password is 12345. Here in the network section, you can change the static IP address or change it to DACP if you wish. Just be sure once you've made any changes that you then scroll to the bottom to hit the set button to save those changes. When you get a new HE130 from the factory, it comes to you in standby mode. This is where the GUI becomes helpful for turning on the camera. Enter the IP address 192.168.0.10 and then you'll be able to turn on the camera for the first time. Once it's turned on, it'll stay on unless you turn it back into standby. Just be sure to refresh the browser so that you can see that you're actually connected. You can also access the camera's internal menu from the web app. I suggest you turn the brightness down in order to see the menus easier. Then click on OSD menu and then turn the menus on. Then navigate to the section you want to change. For this case, we're going to change the output type of the camera. So right now it's set for 1080 at 5994p. Now we're going to search for 1080i and set it. You can navigate the menus on the camera using the regular SDI output. On the controller, press and hold the OSD menu button in the top right corner. Again, we're going to close the iris to see the menus easier. Then using the F1 knob, you can navigate through the menus and pressing the F1 knob selects.
Another feature of the Setup section of the web application is the ability to set up presets. Going to Image Position Settings and then clicking Setup for Preset Positions opens another window. This window gives you control of the camera and allows you to save different positions. Home is the only position you cannot overwrite. You can then recall these preset positions by selecting them and pressing move. In the live section you can also access the presets via a drop down menu and a move button in the control section. In that same section of the setup menu where we set up preset positions, you can also set up scene files. If you click on setup next to image adjust, it brings up a pop-up window which allows you to change the color settings of the camera. RGB gain, offset, and auto white and auto black balance are available in this menu. And again, these scene files can be accessed from the live section in the control section at the bottom of the screen. I'm Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy. Thank you for watching.